Gaffer's been a bit of rest and a bit of hard work as well. Working in over a weekend training to gear up for Tuesday. How have you balanced it the last few days? Um, well, we had some time off after the game Tuesday. Um, obviously, that was important for some rest and recuperation with the players. Um, the lads have needed a break because they've been putting a lot of hard work in. Um, and then we've trained the last three days and, and been working on some new things, some different you know, formation systems um, that we can adapt to with the personnel we've got available. So, yeah, it's been a good couple of days' work, but obviously proofs in the pudding and we need to go tomorrow night and get, get a good result. Well, we'll start on personnel. Nobody definitively back perhaps on Tuesday, but a bit of light at the end of the tunnel. I know I keep using that phrase. Yeah, yeah, we do. Um, MJ's joined in training today, which is, which is great. He's just seeing how his shoulder feels and seeing if we can build some confidence in that. Um, but he's came through fine, which is good news. Won't be available tomorrow, but certainly could be for Saturday. Um, Harry Brockbank returns to train on Thursday, which is also good. Um, so, yeah, light at the end of the tunnel is, is the correct phrase. You've weathered the storm really well in terms of results, but it goes out saying the fixture list coming up. You'll be desperate to have some of those bodies back. Yeah, we need them. Um, we've we found a way in November. Um, I thought it was quite a positive month after an awful October. Um, I think we've... We lost one league game to Wickham and played really well in that game. And then, obviously, the defeat in extra time at Stockport was was not good enough. But other than that, I think it's been quite positive considering what we've we've had to deal with injury-wise. So, yeah, getting bodies back is important. December's always, you know, the moving month, so, so to speak. We need to get ourselves in a position to challenge for the second half of the season. I think there's a lot to look forward to in the second half of the season. Some good fixtures, some good home fixtures. Um, obviously recruitment in January and, and players coming back from injury so lots of things to be positive about yeah, Back to back away games but not too far to travel thankfully we're staying in Lancashire even if the weather forecast doesn't look too clever No it doesn't um, I think the storms come in and the wind and the rain and from someone who knows the Fylde Coast pretty well um, I know exactly what conditions we're going to face tomorrow night and, and in those conditions you just have to find a way to win in, in terms of uh, Fleetwood, a bit tough to know what to expect, I suppose. I mean, their kids gave us a real good game last Tuesday. They've had a bit of a beating on Saturday, but new manager, caretaker manager, finding his feet, it's a hard on the way up, perhaps. It'll be a tough game. I mean, every game's tough, but um, there'll certainly be a wounded animal after Saturday. Um, no one likes to, to go down to 10 men so early and then and have a defeat like that. Um, so they'll be coming out fighting. And I know Stephen very well, he, the caretaker manager. He will have them highly motivated. And we have to match their motivation and, and do our best to win the game. Do you feel that the momentum and the form is coming back, though? As you say, we've talked about a tough month, but they've had a decent run. They looked potent going forward. Uh, we've talked about Kachunga being uh, on fire, you know, the, the, and Zav coming into the side and, and gradually getting fitted. Doyle has back, been back in, back in the goal. Is it just forms coming back for one or two players? It looks that way, um, but we're not going to rest on our laurels. We know we've, we want to do more and achieve more, and, and having bodies, more bodies available will help us. Um, as I said, we've got a really busy month. It is a moving month in the AFL, and we have to make sure that we are progressing up the table in the right direction and then giving ourselves something to fight for in the second half of the season. Just lastly then, looking towards the second half of the season, this is the game in the time mentality, but we've had the draw for the Papa John's. You go to Hartlepool in the new year, I'm sure it'll be a chilly start in the North East, but uh, what are your thoughts on that draw? Well, you'll know that better than anyone. Um, we, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's a good draw, but a difficult draw. Um, Hartlepool have had some success in cup competitions. They've, they've took some big scalps, and it's a game that will challenge us, but it's one we're looking forward to.